Hello everybody, so this is how to remove the front bumper from a Vauxhall Insignia. Now this is the 2011 SRI model. Know that I think it makes much difference here. So, uh, there you go. Ecotech. So I'll give you a few tips, first of all. So, you remove the screws from the inner wheel arch. So you can see there's one, two, three. Uh, there's... There's a three at the other side, so you're actually better just to turn the wheel. I'll show you the cap. There you go. There's a... Was it torques, Roddy? Torques, right. Uh, three torques either side. Then you remove the torques that go along the top of the, the slam panel. I think there was about seven of them. And then at the bottom, you've got to go underneath the car to do this. It's just like you use one of these claws to pull out the plastic clips that go underneath and uh, you disconnect, see the electrical connections on the light, the light each side and there's also a little temperature sensor, there's a little wire there, I'll show you them on the car and then the last bit, you just pull the whole thing forward and you can see here there's actually metal brackets, I'll show you them on the car, they just slip into, so I'll show you these metal brackets, so there that's these metal brackets I was talking about, the plastic bits go into one at each side. That's the wiring for the temperature sensor. There's the wiring for the lighting. Yeah, and that's where the, the torch go into along the, the top there. So it's one, two, three, four actually. What else, Roddy? Uh, but now we're actually working over a pit here and we found it easier to take the fan and the radiator out as a one unit when unclipping it from the condenser and go down the way because you were, we were fairly restricted with the power steering pump and the air conditioning stuff to come up the way. So you'd be better if you're doing this at home, just do it on the set of ramps or something like that if you've got enough clearance. Uh, what else have we got to say? Oh, are the clips. That's it, everything, everything's plastic clips with this car. Uh, the fan, is this the fan one? Oh, fan on the back there. Yes, the fan, is, this is a fan here, it's held onto the radiator with these plastic clips here. That's it, they just come up and you've got to get a double, you've got to get a flat screw in there and prise, prise these open in order to get that removed because we ended up it was so tight we ended up breaking the bottom one, but it doesn't matter, we're getting another radiator anyway. As you can see, it's destroyed. It was leaking, so we didn't worry about taking it out. So that's other clips there as well. You have to open them up. And the radiator's mounted to the condenser. It goes in that bit there, so... The radiator goes in... It's another plastic clips, and they just push into these bits here. That's right here, and it just lies, lies at the bottom there. Uh, can we even show that on the car? Well, there it's, uh, there it's there. That's wee plastic clips, so you just got to pinch them and pull the, the, the condenser back the way. Uh, anything else? I think, I think that was it. Yeah. Oh yes, I that was a... So yes, so the, the, the radiator and everything else sits on these brackets. Uh, and you can see that's rotted out because that's... Is that aluminium? Aluminium. And it just rots away and I'll show you where... You got the torch here, Roddy? Right. So they sit... Ah, there, let's see, we'll go for that. Ah, it's easy to see. Oh. Right, so these, these brackets just sit right there. So we're going to get some off the of Vauxhall. I think they're about £3 each side. Must be a common issue. Anyway, hope that helps you if you're doing this job. Cheers.